What is happening guys? Welcome back. So we just got off a boat and now we're on Route 9. So we can actually catch a new wild Pokemon. Looks like we got some trainers and I'm excited to see what this route's got in store for us. So let's just go ahead and see what we got in this here uh, grass by the sea. Our first encounter here is a Palmo. I've actually, I did a lot of grinding in an area where there was a bunch of these damn things and these are actually pretty cool. I like this. It's level 28 so not too bad. Um, I think it's a rock grass type, so let's just go for like a crunch. I think we should be okay with that. Probably not going to knock it out. Okay, cool. Uh, so it does hit us with a rock tomb. Charlotte obviously doesn't like that too much, but that's fine. Can I drop our speed? I'm excited to see what this thing evolves into. You know what, Palma, you're actually pretty badass. I wish you were shiny, because I would switch you for the, uh, the weed sea we got. But let's just toss an ultra ball and see if we can catch this damn thing. It's like a little, uh, it's like a dwarf executor. Anyway, we got ourselves a Palmo. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I guess that's a, I guess that's a good encounter. No, it's actually just a pure grass type. So Palmo is encased in a hard shell, making its leaves only approachable target on its body. Many weaker Pokemon take shelter under it for safety. So, uh, this thing's face looks like Ike from South Park. <laughs> We're gonna name you Ike. So, there you go, buddy. I don't know why. I mean, it's just got kind of the same eyes, and its face looks like... I don't know, man. You're Ike, though. So, there we go. Our little South Park buddy transferred to Box 1. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so we do still have the EXP share on old Monsoon over here. He's level 32. Our shiny boy is going to be useful at some point. We're just going to leave that there. And I guess we'll just kind of leave Charlotte, because Charlotte does need some grinding. Anyway, uh, we'll see what our second encounter is. It's always a cooler one. Oh, just another weed seed. False alarm. And I thought you were shiny for a second, but luckily you're not. Okay. So, we got some trainer battles here. What's happening, lady? Doing some uh, some running on the sand. You should always do a warm-up before you go swimming. That is actually pretty good advice. Thanks. I, you know, I appreciate that, Tara. So, she has a weed C at level 30. And uh, this is going to be pretty good for Charlotte. So, it seems like we're actually still even pretty good leveled with Charlotte. Even being like our lowest on our team. So, that's nice. X's are going to knock that thing out. We have X's are now, which is much better than... Um, bug Bomb because it's a physical attack. Next is a Shrub Sea. So, just kind of got the classic uh, Sea Boys with you, huh? Down goes the Shrub Sea. Sayonara. So, Monsoon actually could be useful here, although we're just not the best typing for this area. But, we got a lady, a little, little, uh, little not a lady, you're a little kid. You're a, you're a guy. Okay. In the, in the tube, what's happening? Tuber Ryan has a Torta Rock. Okay, so I did actually see a couple of these Torta Rocks too. Um, don't really want to mess with you being a rock type, so maybe Monsoon could take care of this thing. It's level 30, you know, probably not. We're not gonna, we ain't gonna risk it. Let's, um, let's just let Happy do it. So Dracula is sitting pretty nice at level 39, but we'll get Happy a little bit of action here. Gonna go for an Ancient Power. I actually really like this Pokemon. It seems like it would, uh, seems like it's got potential. I don't know. Let's go for a bulldoze. What type is this thing? Is it a grass rock? I have no idea. But bulldoze is super effective, so it doesn't quite knock it out. We're eight levels higher than this damn thing. Come on, Happy. We don't really like rock attacks either. Knocks us down to 69 HP. Giggity. And we'll just kill you with a quick attack. See you later, buddy. Little grandfather turtle. All right, what is next? Monsoon does grow to level 33. Next is a Palmo. Um, let's just go right back into Charlotte, probably. Um, you know what, actually, we could use Ghost on this thing. It does have does have rock moves, but I think we'll be okay. Ghost just needs Ghost just needs something, man. I Really, I'm going to be so upset if I get close to evolving with this thing, and then it just never happens. Okay, Rock Blast. Jesus. Still does so much damage, that Eevee Light. Not really helping us out too much. Luckily, that hits five times. Okay, that could have been bad. Ghost, you're too damn frail, buddy. <laughs> but one more ice shard is gonna take care of it and we don't even get very much experience which sucks But we get our moxie boost which we do not need because that's the last if it's the last Pokemon It should just not even give you the moxie. It's like we don't need that damn it Anyway, so we can go over this way, which just takes us to a karate dude um, team looking a little bit beat up here. We should probably Should probably fix that. I feel like we're gonna have quite a few trainers um, Didn't I buy some super potions as well? I did I have ten supers, so we'll just use one of those for you, Charlotte. Get you back to full, because you never know. You never know in this game. Especially since I'm so bad at uh, my tight matchups in this shit. What's up, guy? Hits us with the all caps high. Yeah, that was an amazing cry, wasn't it? 
You can teach your Pokemon something similar. Here, try it. Oh, it doesn't even battle us. It just gives us TM111 for Battle Cry. The hell is that? Um, okay, that's actually interesting. TM111 for Battle Cry. Screams out a Battle Cry, raising the attack stats of any Pokemon on its side. That's pretty interesting, actually. You might have to. I might have to use that eventually, but look at this surfer ass, dude. Sick hair, boy. Got that part down the middle. I like to surf on the waves, but I can't find my surfboard. Well, that sounds like you got quite the dilemma there, buddy. Swimmer Ian, he's not even a surfer. He's got a crab blue, which is <laughs> something we have not seen before. Uh, I, I Honestly, I really like all the crab Pokemon. This thing's pretty damn cool. We're going to give you an X scissor, see how much that does. Just neutral, but it does have rock blast. Why does everything have rock moves? Palmo's not even a fucking rock type. That thing hits us with... Oh my god, please, no. Please stop that. Jesus, hits us four times. All right. That was pretty scary. Now we know that these damn crab blues hit us with rock blast. Our team still doesn't really like rock moves, but as soon as Weed C gets a little little bigger. Next is a Surfide. No idea what the hell a Surfide is, but I'm going to assume that it doesn't like electric attacks, so we're just going to go right into Marvin. We ain't playing no games these days. We're almost level 40. Look at us. Surfide. Oh my god, this Pokemon has a fucking surfboard. That is amazing. Level 30. Um, so, not too scary. Look at that guy. He's got like some hair. It's literally a surfer Pokemon. That is fucking... <laughs> That's, uh... I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. This is like the Alola area of this game. Anyway, we do need to heal up again because we took ourselves some damage there. Damn critical hits. Luckily, he didn't hit us five times. Rock Blast is a uh, could be a real bitch, but we get back to full there, and let us continue. I don't really know where the hell we're going. I figured there was a city somewhere around here. It looks like we can go up that way. Actually, there's a sand castle right there, which is cool. We do find a, a weed C. All of these things look shiny to me now, but they're not. So we run. Nice castle. It'd be a shame if someone knocked it down. I'm building my own sand castle. Be careful. Well, it doesn't let me knock it down, or I would. It should just give you the option to be a dick. Any, anyway, Tyalda. It's got a crab blue level 31. This one's a higher level. And, uh... I guess we could try Weed C, or... Is it worth it, though? What do I even... I have Leaf Tornado, which is... You know what? Should we try out Monsoon? We're gonna come in and probably take a Rock Blast, though. And it's not gonna be too good. You know what? Let's, um... I really don't want to die here, so we're just gonna freaking switch out. We playing it safe these days, boys. Loaded it to Bubble Beam. So Bubble Beam is its highest attack. Just goes for that rather than the Rock Blast. What what type is this freaking thing? You just water? Are you just a water boy? Gonna go for a lightning strike here. Should do the trick. Down you go. I wanna find one of these things. I wish that was my first encounter, but we'll take Palmo. We'll take it. Get ourselves a little experience. Oh no, my castle. Did we break your castle in the process? That would be a damn shame. Okay, so we can go up this way. Um, where we have ourselves an item that seems like there is oh, it's just an X defense nice One of my favorite items ever Do you guys ever use the X items? I feel like I mean they're obviously good, but I never end up using them Anyway over this way. We do have a hyper potion and also a berry tree When the hell can I start grabbing the, the berries at the, out of the top? I'm confused, but we get ourselves a citrus berry. Why can't I reach these? Growing up high in the tree, but they seem impossible to reach Impossible, huh? And then there's just some apricorns there. There's also an iron. Uh, so that's nice to raise the defense. We'll probably just end up selling that for a bunch of money, so... Yeah, I guess maybe there isn't anywhere else for us to... No, okay, we can go... We can go this way, which is going to lead us to a new area. But I also feel like I should run back and go see um, what was the other way. Because there was definitely some shit going on. It also seems like we're going to get the ability to surf here pretty soon. I'm, just, I'm, I'm bummed this guy didn't give us a surfboard, but he said he lost his, so it makes sense, but... I'm sure we're going to be able to surf soon. Hey, and the speak of the devil, it's a surfide. <laughs> nice. I want to see if... Does that thing evolve? That would be cool. Okay, so we are going to go just up and see if there was anything I was missing. Okay, it does not look like it. I thought there was a... thought there was going to be a new area for us to go up that way, but it seems like we hit a little bit of a dead end over here, so we're just going to have to run back to the left. So We are going to be able to cross this channel a freaking eventually, if we could ever have the ability to surf. I'm assuming after the next gym we'll be able to do it, but well, let's just run our asses back this way. Just giving our spidey legs a little bit of exercise. She's been, you know, stuck in the, uh, stuck in the Pokeball for some time, even though it's a male. I call her a she because her name is Charlotte, and I don't, I don't care. It's 2019. My spider can be whatever 
It freaking wants to be. Just another Palmo. Tell me that thing's face doesn't look like Ike from South Park. It totally does. Okay. So we're back. And it's time to check out the city, I guess. What's happening? We're going to check the trash can. Because last time we found a full heal, but not this time. All right. Here we have Wait Tide City. Looking like a pretty industrial place. What's up, guy? So Wait Tide City is a paradise. The beach, the sun, the water. It's so relaxing. Nice. Well, it looks pretty cool. Um, so here we have the gym right in the middle of the city. Wade isn't at the gym at the moment. You can find him on the beach. Nice. So, uh, looks like we got some exploring to do. There's also these vending machines, uh, which I have definitely not been, uh, no, oh, you know what? We need to bring one of these back to the lady at the other Poke Center, uh, cause that was a quest. But, uh, let's just get a couple more lemonades cause it's kind of just good to have these around. Definitely better than just super potions, so... It just takes forever to buy. I wish you could just buy them in bulk. Like, what the fuck? Take my money, you damn vending machine. Just put like five grand in this thing. Give me all the lemonades you got. Thank you. Okay, screw it. We're just getting that many. All right. So, time to kind of just check out what this city's got to offer. It seems like a pretty rad place. <laughs> pretty rad place. What is happening in here? Nice house you got. Have you heard of the move Scald? It's a water type move, but it can burn the foe. Weird, isn't it? That is quite weird. In school, I've learned that fire, ground, and rock types are weak against water types, but electric and grass types are strong against them. I'm assuming the, the guy's name's Wade, and it's in the freaking beach place. He's probably the water type gym leader, which is kind of cool, uh, because we have a good electric type now. What's up? While studying the local fauna and water Pokemon, we found several strange floating rocks on another part of the beach. Here, take one with you. And we obtained a float stone. I don't remember what the hell a float stone does. Let's actually check that out. What does, uh... A float stone. I, I know I've definitely seen that item, I feel like, before. Light stone, it reduces the weight of a Pokemon when held. So, not really all that useful. There's a couple moves that that would help out against, but I've been experiencing, experimenting lately to discover new ways for Pokemon to use all sorts of items during battle. I have something that can prove to be useful to you. Don't worry, I have plenty of these. And he gives us a smoke ball. Uh, so, I, I, I believe that allows you to escape from any wild Pokemon, which is kind of nice. If they have like a Raina trap, you can just toss a smoke ball and you'd be good to go. But. Probably never going to use that. Just an empty trash can. Where do you people keep your trash? What the hell? Yeah, this guy just ripping around on the bike. So here we have the beach down this way. Um, but first, we should probably just go get a nice little heal up going. We can check out what the quests are for the city. I've been kind of slacking it on the quest, to be honest. Uh, I should probably be doing better with those. The last, the last place had somebody that was looking for drinks or whatever. Uh, but I don't think there was any betting machines in that city, so we'd have to go all the way back. And that it wouldn't really take that long, but we're still not going to do it. Hello. Such a shame that I wasn't able to get a guppish in the fishing contest. Ooh, I forget we get to do a fishing contest. Are you by chance going to the fishing contest? I sure am. That's great. I have a big favor to ask of you. really want to see a guppish, but unfortunately my fishing rod is broken. Therefore, I cannot enter until I have a new rod. You have some fishing rods, I can see. If you could show me a guppish, I'll give you a great reward. Uh, so yeah, we'll accept that challenge if we manage to get a guppish. I guess that could be cool. What's up, guy? I'm a big fan of water-type Pokemon. I've heard of blue-colored with claws. With his claws, is able to learn the move Crab Hammer, one of my favorites. Can't remember its name, so it's that freaking crab thing. And uh, I guess we could catch one of these and bring back, bring it back to that guy. If we have time, I don't know what that guy even gives us, but I guess we'll see. What's up? Is this guy freaking captain? I like this city, but I can't see any ships. Maybe I should go to back to docking ports. This guy's like, there ain't no ships here. I'm freaking leaving. And that door is closed, which is peculiar. Wade is so cute. I love surfy guys. Okay, so we have another beach down this way. Seems like a pretty cool city to live. Ooh, look at this thing. What do you got here? Okay, you can't talk to that Pokemon, unfortunately. Our Parisi is helping us by learning how to swim. A Parisi, huh? I love to play in the water with Parisi. Well, that seems like a pretty cool guy. I love coming here to the beach with my kids. I can chill and our Parisi has an eye on them. Nice, got your own little private beach, huh? Well, over here we got ourselves an item, found a full restore. People just be leaving full restores around like it ain't nobody's business. That's nice. Okay, we'll take that. And this is an interesting shaped house y'all got here. What's up? It's quite relaxing to dip your toes into the cool water while getting several served drinks and desserts, not several. So nice that our mother arranges everything for us. That must be nice. An empty trash can. But where's everybody at? This dude's just chilling in his room. Unbelievable. I had this awful thing attached to my new shoes while I was strolling down the street. Habit. It suits you more. And we got ourselves a sticky barb. 
Um, so sticky barbs kind of a shitty item, but I just had it stuck to his shoes, so we'll take it off your hands, buddy. Anyway, uh, this place is pretty damn big. I'm assuming we gotta go to that south beach to find Wade. Cooking in ocean Pokemon soup. I junked the leftovers in the garbage can. Are you cooking up Pokemon? Ocean Pokemon soup. That sounds ridiculous. I hate ocean Pokemon soup, but I have to eat it once a week. Well, that sounds like the struggle, kid. Okay, I feel like we've really gotten kind of full circle. I'll have to go to the beach, but I have to do my job. Poor police officer, man. Just busy as hell. I'm probably missing stuff in this city, but that's fine. Do you know that there are some items that boost the power of moves of a specific type here? Try it out. And we get ourselves a Mystic Water, so that raises the power of water moves. I believe we already had a Mystic Water, but we'll take it. Wait Tide is one of the most beautiful cities in the Rakota region, and with its aquarium and fishing contest, it has, has the best sights. Where the hell do I do the fishing contest? I am interested. Well, this is a good place to take a break and catch some rays. Sure is. And what do we have here? Here we have the aquarium. Let's go check this out. I'm a big fan of aquariums. Yo, this is actually pretty awesome. What's up, lady? Many Pokemon only evolve when exposed to a special stone. Thank you for the info. Pokemon in this aquarium are awesome. Would you like to fish them? Uh, yeah. I have something for you. And we obtained a good rod. Nice. So, we just had the old rod before. I thought we were going to be able to, like, fish in these aquariums, but... Kind of reminds me of the aquarium back from where I'm in the Kalos region. Nice. So, uh... So many water type Pokemon, I love it. Gelatot. Jellyfish Pokemon, the color depends on their gender. Nice. Shrimpit. Shrimp Pokemon, they always found in huge clusters in the sea. It'd be nice if we could actually see the Pokemon, but unfortunately we cannot. I'm gonna be a water type Pokemon. Master, I'll catch all the water type Pokemon in the world. All of them in the world. You crazy, sir. Please enjoy. Well, that's a, a cool little touch. Wait, I didn't talk to that hiker in there. And what are the odds that this guy actually gives us something good? Hello? Oh, now he's in a different... Wait. 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 Okay, wait. We did totally talk to this guy. It was uh, This motherfucker was, like, down this way. False alarm. I'm just dumb. Okay. So, uh... Ooh, got another item here. And it's a max repel. There is so many places to explore in this city. I kind of like it. So, came here to stay with my parents when the summer arrives. There's good money to be earned on busy nights. I can meet all kinds of people, too. What a fine man my little boy is turning out to be. Oh, okay. Pretty useless house y'all got here, unless somebody gives me something up here. I can always trust the old dude in the hat watching TV. I was raised always to see poke. I always to see tomorrow as a chance to learn. I don't know what the fuck I was saying. That's why I wanted to raise my boy to be a successful and young man. A good young man with character and experience. Nice. Well, y'all's house is boring as hell. I don't know why I even came in here. But we do have to make sure we kind of thoroughly explore stuff, I guess. But, kind of looks like that's really it. Pink Gelatot. Just as much as I love Wade. All the girls are just swooning over Wade. That guy's got it figured out. We haven't been in here, actually. Swimming in the ocean is so different than swimming in a lake or pond. It really is. Salt water kind of sucks, though. Whenever I go to the beach, it's so neat seeing all cute water Pokemon around me. Nice. Teaching these kids how to swim is a real challenge. You always have to be careful when swimming in the ocean. Gotta look out for them sharks. And, uh, what's up, buddy? Living life by the beach is all I could ever ask for. Every day is an adventure when you swim out in the open blue. Nice. Well, okay, yeah. There's been, like, two houses where stuff has happened here, but that's, that's, that's fine. Anyway, let's head down this way into this beach. See what's popping over this way. Ah, I love the sun. Just getting a little sunbathing. Here for our holidays, my dad has a hotel here. And we find a pearl. You guys have just been hanging out by a pearl this whole time. Where, um, where can I do the fishing contest? got to do 20 laps today. You're crazy. My brother is much better than me at building sandcastles. What do you think about my sandcastle? It's awesome, isn't my crab blue is helping me? Cool. Uh, is this Wade? You look like Wade. What? Hayden? Wait, no, this is fucking... <laughs> Wait. Does this motherfucker look different now or what? Look at you on your very own Pokemon journey. Who is it? Who? Hello? For a second, I thought this was Rodney, but are you my dad? I already have five gym badges. <laughs> he must be doing awesome. What the hell is going on here? Watch out, Wade. This lady, is this Misty? Hello? You might get beat. No, it is Wade. Is Wade my fucking dad? <laughs> might get beaten by your little sibling. Oh, little sibling, huh? Okay, older brother. I was going to say, this dude looks a little young. I'm just kidding, though. Who knows? He might. It's you. Yeah, right. Are you actually Misty? It is Misty. Holy shit. 
A little Misty cameo. She's also a water type gym leader. She's from the Cancer region. She's here for the Pokemon fighting contest. That's right. I want also want to see all water type Pokemon from the Rakota region. Hmm. I have an idea, Misty. You should battle Hayden so I can see your battling style. Is she going to have Kanto Pokemon? Well, okay. I'll battle, but only if you want to. So, uh, interesting. We about to battle Misty right now. I did not see that coming. For a second, I thought that was Rodney. Then I thought it was my dad. And then is my older brother? What plot twist, man. Okay, so Misty, nope, she just has a Perisy. Level 35, boy. And that thing is actually kind of damn scary. It's like a Lapras with a fucking palm tree on its back. Let's switch into Marvin here. Um, I really hope this thing's not part ground type. Okay, so Giga Drain looks like the biggest thing we're worried about. Gonna go for a Brine, which doesn't do much. Um, and now I'm glad that I leveled to where I am. So, critical hit doesn't quite knock it out, but we do get the confusion. Please hit yourself, Percy. Please, do it. Yeah! Doesn't quite knock itself out, but that's fine, because now we can just finish it with a shockwave. And one down. So, Misty's really taking uh, advantage of all the cool water-type Pokemon we got here in Rakodo. Next is an Angelite. So, it's going to be one of those angler fish, which is kind of cool. Um, which means it's probably part electric. I think it's best for us to just stay in here. Marvin seems like the kind of guy. Ooh, okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna be like a. It's just actually just an angel fish, but that's fine. We're just gonna give you a lightning strike then. Goes for a water pulse. The thing is actually pretty damn beautiful. It's like a Aloma Mola that just isn't so fat. We get off a lightning strike. And oh my god, another critical hit, but it leaves it with fucking one HP. What is this? We're going to play it safe in Super Potion here. Because we don't want to die. And I want to make sure that this thing doesn't have anything too crazy. Could be like a critical hit. And then I hit myself. That would just be a, a bad time. If that happens, you're going to have a bad time. Anyway, one more shock. Well, how, okay, Ooh, switching out. Okay, she's switching into the Guppish on me. And that thing looks badass as hell. It's like a beta fish kind of. We do break through. And Shockwave does not get a critical hit this time. But almost knocks it out. So we should be good here. Really should have went for lightning strike, but that's fine. Don't hit yourself, Marvin. Yeah. Marvin is the damn MVP these days. Although, every time I say that about a Pokemon, I end up killing it. So, let's just pretend I didn't say that. We do grow to level 40, though, trying to learn Electrokinesis. What in the hell is Electrokinesis? Hello? So, for five turns, the user's Electric-type moves will always hit. Interesting. We're probably going to not teach that. I don't... Seem like that, that you know what we'd rather just gamble. Okay, next is just that angel light. We're just gonna stay in and look at us battling Misty. And goes for an icy wind. Man, if I had stealth rocks up, you would be screwed, lady. Snapped out of that confusion. Marvin don't care. And down goes the angel light. So Marvin is also gonna be extremely useful for this upcoming uh, gym battle. You're as talented as your brother. You get three thousand six hundred dollars from winning. Wow, what a great battle. Wade, you've got trouble on your hands. That was a good battle. It's good to see how far you've come. I know. How about this? When you have won seven badges, I will battle you. What a great way to have a battle. Trying to win your eighth gym badge. Hmm. Wait, so we can't... Hello? Austin, I have to do some business with our aquarium. How about watching the fishing contest with Misty? That's a great idea, Hayden. I'll show you how the fishing contest works. Okay, so we do get to do the uh, fishing contest, apparently, but we don't get a battle wade yet, so... Follow me to the gateway over there. Alright, let's follow her then. What's up? This is the fishing contest. Here you can enter and you receive 30 fishing balls. Then, once inside, you can find a spot to go fishing. Once you hook a Pokemon, you can try to catch it. Catch is that you're only allowed one Pokemon with you to battle with. Also, you can only have one Pokemon that you've caught. Hmm, interesting. So that works with our Nuzlocke rules. But you can catch others, you just have to decide whether or not to keep the Pokemon you've caught or replace it with a newly caught one. Once the contest is over, the trainer who has caught the best Pokemon will win a prize. I think maybe we'll just try to go with the first one we catch. How about that? For battling me, I have a little gift for you. You have no room to store the egg. Ooh, she was going to give us an egg? Ooh, okay. So there's actually just a PC right here, which is nice. So let's boot this bad boy up. And uh, she's about to give us an egg, so that's cool. We're going to move... Uh, we'll probably to get rid of... Let's get rid of the you for now. Sorry about that, ghost. You're kind of underwhelming, buddy. We're going to replace you with an egg. The egg could probably take more damage than you. Here's your gift. And we received a Pokemon egg. Give the fishing contest a try. I'm going to go back to the beach. Alright, so let's see what's up with this here fishing contest, shall we? 
Today's Wednesday. That means the fishing contest is on today. The rules are simple. It is actually Wednesday, too. The clock is right. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a water-type Pokemon. To be judged, would you like to give it a try? I sure would. We're just going to go with whatever the first one is we catch. Only allowed to take one Pokemon into the contest. Um, so... Let's go with... Uh, Let's go with Happy. I feel like Happy is probably a good idea. Entering Happy then. I sure will be. We'll hold your other Pokemon. This guy's people... I don't trust you with my Pokemon, man. This guy's gonna turn out to be a fucking... Look at how evil he looks. He's gonna be a Team Solar or some shit, man. Not be allowed to access your equipment bag as well. So be sure to register the rod to the F5 key. You sure that you read... Are you sure that you registered one? Uh, no. Want to register a rod? It's very helpful. I'll go register one. Uh, so yeah, we definitely need to do that. Good rod. It is registered, actually. Now it is. Okay, we're good. We're good to go, sir. Here are the fishing balls for the contest, so F5 is how we... Interesting. Why would it be F5? person who gets the strongest water-type Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of fishing balls, you're done. So, yeah, we're just going to try to catch whatever the first thing is we get. And we'll see kind of how this goes. I don't know what the prizes are if you win. But, uh... So I guess we'll just give this a try. We just hit F5 here. Bust out that there. Good rod, and let's see what we can find. First Pokemon we come across is gonna be the only one we can use. And we got ourselves a bite, landed a Pokemon. Our first encounter is probably gonna be one of those sharks. Oh, evolved form Sharko. Okay, level 28, boy. Um, we have seen the pre-evolution of this. I really would rather not kill you. Um, so I'm just gonna toss a fishing, we're just gonna toss a fishing ball, see if we can just get it first try. And, okay, not quite. I honestly could probably just quick attack this thing, but... Oh, man, it's got spark. Oh, this is not good, actually. Because I can't heal. This is bad. Of course, we get the one fucking electric type. Ooh, that actually knocks it right into perfect range. Oh, and we do actually take rough skin damage. No, please don't spark me. No, stop sparking. Uh-oh. This puts me in a terribly bad spot. Because one more spark and we die. Oh man, why did I have to encounter the electric type? Dude, I can't I can't risk Happy going down. I could try to go for another another ball. But I really just don't think it's worth it. Um I think I'm just gonna run. I I don't <laughs> this is not worth it. If we don't catch it on this next ball, it's gonna fucking kill me. So you know what? We're just gonna run. And um I can't access. Well, I guess I, I, I guess I can now. But in battle, you can't actually heal up. So that's freaking stupid, man. Well, <sighs> technically, that was my first encounter. So that's not gonna allow us. I mean, the Nuzlocke rules say that we're only allowed to, you know, use the first thing we catch. We could still try to catch something for the contest, but I think for the most part, we kind of screwed that up. <laughs> freaking electric type ruined me, man. Let's at least try to catch something just to see what we can kind of do for. In terms of the contest, but I wonder if does it also do we have to fish or can we catch something in the grass? How does this work? We got a little crab blue. Okay, level 27 boy. Let's just toss some balls at this thing, see if we can catch it. We're just gonna see. This probably is not gonna allow us to win the contest, but I'm gonna go for a wide guard, huh? That's fine. Two quick attacks is actually gonna be perfect here. More wide guards. What the hell is the animation for that wide guard? Hello? And, of course, we get a critical hit. Nice. <laughs> the one time we don't want you to crit, Happy. Damn it, boy. All right, we're going to fish and fish again. Come on, we need to just catch something here. Hello? All right, we got a bite. Please be something good. Dude, I really... Ooh! Look at this little shrimpy boy. All right, level 21. Uh, I'm just going to throw some fucking balls at you, honestly. I would have been so upset if I lost Happy in the damn fishing contest. Anyway, well, we catch a shrimp it. This is probably the worst thing to bring to the fishing contest, but cannot properly defend itself from predators, so it must utilize the environment to protect itself. Living near underwater volcanoes have made them heat resistant. Cool. So we're not going to use this thing. Um, let's try to let's see if we can try to catch something better, because I don't think that's going to do too good for us in the old contest. But I guess we'll see. Not even a nibble. Damn it! Come on. We need to try to catch one more thing. Shrimp it's probably the worst option. Just a little, he's literally a shrimp. Not very strong, okay. 
Well, we have a crab blue here. We're just gonna throw some balls at this thing. Let's actually two quick attacks should be good if we just don't get a damn crit. Okay, you know what? That does exactly half. So rock throw. Damn you. Kind of reminds me of a whalemer. Like a whalemer had sex with a crabby. Shit's getting weird. Anyway, we do catch a crab blue. Okay, we'll we'll go in with this thing. It's only level 23, so not too strong. I really think that that shark, if we were able to catch that, would have been great. Hone their pincers against rocks near the shores. If one finds a rock with the many U-shaped gouges on it, this means that a crab blue, col crab blue colony is nearby. Well, that's pretty cool. We will switch Pokemon here. Catch the crab blue, and then now let's actually just run back this way and see what the hell happens here. What's up, buddy? Still have some time left. You want to finish now? I sure do. All right. Wait in the contest hall. Now judge the Pokemon that you've caught. Chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Placing third is Hayden who got a... Okay, we got third. So, second, we'd see. And then the winner is an Aquad. Ooh. This guy found an Aquad. That was our roundhouse, buddy. Well, we get a citrus berry from it, so I guess that's kind of cool. Return the Pokemon we kept for you. Here you go. Well, that was, uh... Nickname to the crap loot. We're not going to end up using that thing, so... All right. Well, ladies and gents, at least we got ourselves a, got ourselves an egg. We can still continue on this route. Um, if we wait, where the fuck even? Where did y'all put me? Hello. I am lost and I need an adult. Where am I? I guess we're just on the other end of it. <laughs> they just drugged me and moved me over there. What the hell? All right, so uh. We got an egg from Misty, which is kind of cool, I guess, which we haven't actually taken a look at. Let's look at this eggy boy. Ooh, it's a fancy looking egg. Okay. Doesn't seem close to hatching. So we will actually hatch this one. I, the last egg we got, I haven't hatched, but uh, we'll give this guy a hatch. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to figure out what the hell else there is to do here in Waytide. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.